The outlook for science is promising, especially among young people. Millennials and Gen Z have a high appreciation for science and everything that goes along with it. So with me is the Chief Science Advocate at 3M, Jay Shri Sait, uh, to explain a little bit about what, what 3M does. I mean, there's so many products that 3M does. I think of Scotch tape and Post-it notes, but there's so many other products. Of course, the, the masks as well. What, um, what is 3M doing in terms of science? And tell me about this report. Uh, thank you for having me. I'm excited to talk to you about science and what America thinks about science. So 3M State of Science Index, this report that you referred to, it is actually research conducted by 3M to understand the public perception of science. What does the world feel about science? How does the public see its relevance in their daily lives? Uh, how do they view its importance for our future? And we have been uh, conducting this global survey for five years now. And it is important because it uh, powers our global science advocacy efforts. And we think science is important, science matters, and what people think about science matters. Uh, so this year, uh, we have um, 17 countries that were surveyed. And I can share three things, I guess, that jump out at me. Uh, first is it's really good to see that trust in science is high. Uh, in America and throughout the world. Uh, second, Americans are very aware of widespread misinformation on social media and traditional media, and they're very concerned about it. And third, people agree we need more diversity in science and Americans acknowledge that we need to do more for achieving equity in scientific fields. Now, interesting, you said you've been doing this for five years. Did the pandemic have any noticeable changes in how people felt about science? Yep, right on. Uh, living through the pandemic essentially positively impacted the public perception of science. So before the pandemic, skepticism was steadily rising. Uh, and after the pandemic, in our 2020 results, we clearly saw a drop in skepticism and trust was at the highest level. And you know what's interesting is like, I feel like we learned so much about science during the pandemic, vaccines and viruses and mutations. And oh my goodness, like, I feel like we learned so much. And even though science is going to get us out of this, there was still like some questions about, I mean, science isn't perfect either. Like we're still learning especially since this is a new virus. So I think that was something we all learned as well. Yes, uh, it is very clear that the frequent communications that we had help people understand that science relies on new data and then debate and then discourse and then discussion. And as new data becomes available, new recommendations emerge. So let's talk about climate change. That's another issue I know, especially young people are very concerned about. A lot of corporations are getting involved. What did this study show about how people feel about climate change? Well, uh, what we found is they're very concerned about the changing weather pattern and the impact that it can have. And it was really surprising to me, at least I thought the number would be lower, but seven in 10 Americans are concerned that they or a loved one might one day be displaced from their home due to the extreme weather. So that is very, uh, it just hits home <laughs> to see that people think they'll be displaced from their, their, their homes. It's, it's, it's quite scary for people. And we also see that Americans are confident science can help minimize the effects of climate change. And also health is becoming a greater issue. And I even sensed this before the pandemic. Um, that people are just caring more about their health. We've seen some of the big tech companies get involved, you know, Apple Watch and so forth. It, how is that showing up specifically in this survey? Yeah, very interesting. Uh, people value health tremendously. And when health is involved, science gets personal. And when asked for what are the things that you'd like to sci science to solve for, obviously the healthcare issues and the chronic diseases and cancer. But after that, people said mental health and even higher than that of vaccines for a future pandemic in, in the US and in the world, I think they were at par. So it just goes to show how the pandemic has made people realize the importance of not just uh, you know, physical health, but mental health and well-being. Mm -hmm. And it was a time like no other, right? It was virtually all of humanity. We faced an existential crisis and most of us confronted the same fears and we all kind of awaited our gift 
uh, of science in the vaccine. All right. So let's talk about the future and STEM education, because that's really going to be the thing that helps us in any kind of future science challenges. Um, where does that stand? Are our kids um, pursuing science careers more because of the pandemic? And um, what, what's the state of STEM education? Yes, it's actually a very good point uh, that during the pandemic, people believe that scientists and uh, STEM professionals and, and medical professionals have inspired the next generation to pursue STEM careers uh, because people saw the importance of those fields and the way they can shape our future. And what's also interesting is it's well researched and documented that women and girls and underrepresented minorities have more pro-social goals. They want to make the world a better place. They want to be in fields where they can make a difference. Well, thank you so much, Jayshree, for joining us, explaining the 3M report. Fascinating and uh, some really encouraging things out of it, I would say. Thank you. Appreciate uh, the opportunity.